What's up guys and welcome back to Ginger TV. Today we're going to review the Maono MH601 Studio Headphones. I have made a review about the Maono microphone back in the days, maybe around two or three months ago, and I was not that satisfied with it. But they contacted me and they gave me these headphones to review. So these headphones are studio headphones, they're like more DJ headphones and more like, I'd say, high quality headphones. And honestly, for the price of 55 Canadian dollars, I was very impressed. Now, for 55 dollars, I wasn't expecting a lot to be honest, since there is a lot of headphones for 100, 200 dollars, and 300 dollars in the same category as the studio headphones. To cut off on price, I can definitely see where they had to cut corners to reduce the price point. In the box, you'll find nothing but the essentials. So you'll find only the headphones and a nice coiled cable. That's it. That's all. There is no carrying case at all and there is no straight cable, it's something that I've seen on other headphones of the same quality and same caliber. Another way to cut on price is the build quality, so these headphones are mostly made out of plastic except for the headbands and the ear cups that are made out of leather. The plastic used has a nice soft smooth feel touch to it and I really like it, but the only thing that I did not really like is the headband. I wish it was made out of metal so it would have been more solid, but they had to cut corners somewhere. Now let's talk about comfort and these are really comfortable. There is a lot of padding on the ear cups and they're really made of good quality leather in my opinion so they feel nice to the ear. One thing that a bit hurt is the top, there is not a lot of padding, it is better than some headphones that I've used before but I would have liked more padding in my opinion. Their ear cups are pretty flexible and you can place them however you want and there's a lot of movement you can do with them. One thing that is odd that I haven't seen in any other headphones is the ear cups are spring loaded so you can rotate them 180 degree but they will not remain at 180 degree, they will go back to their original state which is a bit weird to me but honestly it's not too bad of a deal. One thing that these headphones don't do really good in terms of flexibility is the foldable they are foldable to some extent, but even folded, they are still have a big footprint. So if you're gonna buy a third party case, just consider this. On the left ear cup, there's a quarter inch input and on the right one, there's a 3.5 millimeter input and these headphones actually can be shared. So like, let's say I'm listening to music, I can have one input plugged to my phone and the other plugged to another headphone that can listen to the same thing it's a bit weird to be honest i don't know how many people are going to use this feature but hey it, it is there these headphones are studio headphones this means their sound reproduction is pretty pretty good and they are not bad at all they sound actually really good so whenever i'm listening to music i remove my gaming headphones and i put these on and honestly it is they are way better than any gaming headphone i've used if you want the best sound quality out of this, I suggest you to plug them into a digital to analog converter. They will produce amazing sound compared to the 3.5 millimeter input alone. So honestly, if you're gonna buy these, be sure to have like some sort of more powerful input than your, the regular 3.5 millimeter. Otherwise, it's not really worth it because there doesn't sound as good as with a digital to analog converter. So these are studio headphones that require more power so when you use a digital to analog converter they will sound a lot better but nonetheless even with a regular 3.5mm they are pretty good. So the sound on these is pretty balanced to be honest so I really enjoyed the sound so like I could listen like it was really nice to the ear to listen to and everything sounded really good. The bass does not take over so they are not bass heavy at all, they have a good amount of bass and the vocals on the vo no, songs that I listen to are really really good. So honestly they are really good monitoring headphones especially for YouTube so now when I edit I always use these and I could listen to like everything and have a better idea of what I sound like. They're really comfortable so I can listen to them while like doing homework or like editing a video without any problem and I was impressed of like how flexible the ear cups are and everything like that. I wish they came with more accessories like a carrying case or another cable and the headband had more padding to it so it will be more comfortable but for $55 they had to cut corners somewhere and this is where they did. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Go ahead and drop a like down below, it really helps me out. We reached 300 subscribers, so thank you so much for every single one of you. It means the world to me. Subscribe for more content like this. I have a lot of tech content coming out for the next month. So yeah, 
Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.